Welcome to Future Focus. Today we're talking about the metaverse and how personalized customer experiences and fan engagement are being reimagined. To help us unpack what this means for small businesses, I'm super excited to be joined by Greg Cross. Greg is a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence and is the co-founder and CEO of Soul Machines. Greg, thanks for joining me today. Hey James, great to be with you and you know, excited to be able to talk to uh, everybody in the Zero world. It's brilliant to be talking to you today and really, really appreciate it. To start off with, there's lots of definitions out there, so how do you define the metaverse? I like to think of the metaverse as an all-inclusive digital world. So, uh, you know, I don't see it as a replacement for the internet or our e-commerce stores or our smartphone stores. It's another digital world that becomes part of every different digital world that we have today. We really take a very holistic view in terms of what the metaverse is. So what is a digital person? And how is that different from, say, chatbots or voice assistants that I think a lot of small businesses are already quite familiar with? Yeah, or well, a digital person or an avatar, I mean, is, you know, I guess the pop culture term. It's a CGI character that is brought to life in a way that we can interact with it. What's changing in the metaverse experience is how they're animated, so how they're brought to life, and the way in which we can interact with them. And what's really, really special about what we do here at Soul Machines is we actually make our avatars, our digital humans, you know, digitally alive. So they're interacting with us. And so what does that mean in terms of possibilities for small businesses when it comes to customer experience? It means you can create these incredible one-on-one, -on -one, human-like personal experiences in the metaverse, in your smartphone app, in your e-commerce store, in your website, very, very simply. And it's something that's really available for everybody today. The metaverse is here now as opposed to it's going to be here in the future. Yeah, it really is here now. It's not something that we have to wait until, you know, the your AR or the VR goggles get smaller and cheaper or anything like that. Uh, as I said, you know, if you think about it as an all-inclusive world, an all-inclusive digital world, it becomes how do I extend the digital platforms, the investment I've made in digital content today, how do I extend from where I am now into the future? So what are the emerging risks from these digital worlds merging with the real world and how can they be managed, especially if you're a small business? I mean, you start with the same principles that you have when you interact with your customers via any other medium. You know, you start with the principle of being you know, really upfront with people. So, you know, I mean, one of the, the golden rules for us is you should always be clear that you're talking to a digital person. Hey, I'm Greg, I'm not the real Greg Cross, I'm the digital Greg Cross. I'm here to see if I can help you today. So, you know, this becomes, you know, if you're gonna create this sort of personal customer experience, you have to do it from a place of integrity. So I think that's, you know, probably the number one thing that you need to think about. Coming from integrity, as long as I'm talking to the real Greg Cross. You are, I can assure you, the world doesn't need two, you know, two of me. Well, it's, it's been really great talking to you today, Greg, and having you share your significant insights in this space. It's really been great uh, chatting with you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.